guys are so big already. They're both like over 30 pounds if you if you're fed good. And you're not even a year old yet. You guys just like eight months or six months or some shit. You guys gonna be huge pit bulls. <coughs> huge game pigs, come on. Huge, huge game pigs. Nice ones, come on. Come on guys. Come on. Come on guys. Come on guys. Good fighting. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, good boy, yeah. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger than Hummer. He's, uh, Hummer's also a little leaner though, so they're about the same size. You know, give or take a pound or two. So, which is nice, because they're both gonna be my studs. And, uh, you know, I try to blend the best kind of, stop guys, stop doing stupid stuff. They're still really young, they're like, something like, I'm trying to remember when they were born, but like six months or some shit like that. Not even long at all. Um, and they're already huge. You know, I'm talking like, like I said, over 30 pounds a piece uh, and on a chain. So, you know, and like a house weight. Really, really big ass dogs for pit bulls, you know, that are pure game nine pitties of the best stuffs in the world. Golden King Relay dogs. And, Crowed up in there, garner stuff. It's good stuff. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Golden Kings has had the best in general. I would say individuals uh, in this this sport of underground, you know, dog matching. And uh, Mayday has produced the most good large dogs. Uh, so that's kind of the point: is producing like big Golden Kings kind of dogs um they have a lot of you know golden king's genetics to produce just really badass really badass dogs um and you know i'm looking for some tatiri blood because it's probably the best dog uh at least that's what they say i haven't even seen tatiri match or anything like that but i'm not into you know all kinds of stuff it's illegal you know i just watch them I want to see what the best dogs are, you know, but yeah, I mean, this stuff is, is the best shit you can find. I'm the only guy with DNA tested ones in this country, uh, going in King's line. And, uh, the guy I got them from got his straight from Para, who's the breeder of Golden Kings. Uh, he's kind of like my partner in a way, like we share dogs and, you know, concepts and talk a lot. And he's more on like the, you know, he's he's uh, Mexican, so like he talks to the, you know, Spanish side more, and I talk to the, you know, the English side more, you know. Uh, but yeah, I mean he, but we're both in, you know, in both regardless, and we both help each other out and shit, and you know, the good dude, and um, you know, with these dogs, we're the only ones who really have shit like this. And it's wonderful because uh, I've always wanted to have pit bulls, especially ones that were stuff that people couldn't, didn't have, you know, like the best, the best lines basically of, uh, <coughs> of those dogs. And, you know, I got it now. I got, you know, the same stuff that Chico has pretty much, but as far as like bloodlines, but I got golden kings too which is the best individuals and in stuff that beat chico so all right guys come on it's okay it's just a car you guys gotta learn how to walk come on come on come on yeah i know they're scared they first you know the thing about people is they're very scared of a lot of different things but when it comes down to it they throw hands better than any dog so you know, that's kind of just how it is. It's kind of funny that way that they're not, guys quit pulling on me. They're not the, the most alpha, you know, dogs many times, but they're the most, well maybe in a way that they're, they are alpha. They run usually any area they are with other dogs, but they're more of like a relaxed dog and skittish dog until they have to be the way that they want to, uh, I mean, they have to be, 
you know, a savage, and then they're a savage. You know, there's some game dogs that are more badass and alpha, but that is a that is a uh, a rarer thing because these dogs are very sweet and calm and don't you know harm anything until you know scared or or confused and pushed in those kind of situations. You know, so like today we were working out. And they got mad at each other and got in a little tussle, but they're okay. You know, they, they're just rowdy wool, you know, rowdy type of dog. The rowdiest, but the baddest dog and animal I've ever seen. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Come on, Yeti. I know, it's weird. I know he's never been like one this far. I haven't had that much time to get him acclimated. I only had him for a couple months. Dad is huge, 75 pounds in shape. So just imagine how big that is, really. I mean, that's a massive uh, pit dog. So, you know, he's he's a whole nother, you know, like most people stay 30, 40 pounds in shape. He's twice that size. You know, he's one of those catch weights that, you know, can stomp out a kangle like it was nothing, you know, or some dog like that. Is, uh, you know, he's. He's a big ass dog. Okay. Hope you guys are doing good. Happy New Year to the Super Pack fam. And uh, stay tuned.